Hey guys, so I thought I'd try making a new video series with this uh, Max MSP patch that I have made. So if you look here, I have a keyboard and when I press a note on it, you'll hear it. It will show up on the staff here and it'll show as an X on the uh, violin finger chart. So I thought I'd start off with showing you uh, how to play G major, both one octaves, two octaves, and three octaves. So uh, you start off here with your open string G, and then oh, I'll uh, say fingering numbers rather than uh, letters, simply because you have the letters here and you have the keyboard, so I figured the letters will be a bit self-explanatory so that's your first finger and uh high two three fourth finger or open string d one high second finger and three now that is just one octave and if you only want to do one then you just uh then uh, go backwards and you that's that. Uh, if you want to do two, you keep going. So fourth finger or open string A, B, low second finger. Now it's very important that it's low so that way you're playing C natural and not C sharp. Uh, there's a lot of people who uh, get confused with that so first two strings for the oh for the uh, g string and the d string it's high second finger for the a string and e string it's low and now uh three fourth finger or open string e one and low two again so that way you're playing g natural and not g sharp so that was two octaves uh, now, if you want to do three octaves, the fingering is a bit different, so we'll uh, backtrack a little. Uh, there we go. So, uh, right. Got it. Uh, three octaves. So, you just did one. Uh, fourth finger or open string A. B, low 2. Now here's where it changes. You want to shift up to 3rd position here. So you have your 1st finger on the D here. Uh, so that's 1, 2, 3, high 3 actually, 4, uh, one on your E string there, two, and here after your second finger you're going to want to shift up again, so that's one, two, three, four, and now uh, your pinky just has to reach up ever so slightly. Oh, oops. I. There we go. Uh, yeah, so you want your pinky to just reach up um, ever so slightly to hit that G. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Now, uh, when you're coming back down from three octaves uh, for G, there are two different ways. I'll first show my way, then the alternative way. So I'll reset this here. Reset. There we go. Uh, so we're starting way up there with your fourth finger. Uh, just scooch that fourth finger back down uh, for the F sharp. Then just three, two, one. Oops, let's get rid of that. Now you'll notice 
that um, now you're out of fingers. Instead of going to back down to the A string, you'll shift down to first position on the E string. One great big shift. Uh, so we want four, three, two. And then the rest is just um, same going backwards in first position. Uh, so that's coming down my way. Uh, the other way, oops. So four, four, three, two, one. There we go. Uh, so yeah, four, four, three, two, one. And now instead of shifting to first position, you'll want to shift down to third position. So your next finger here will be two on the B instead of four. So two, one. And now, um, we're going to stay in third position for a little bit. So now crossing over to the A string, you do four right here, high three, two, one. And now we shift back down to first position. So uh, two, one. So a bit different, uh, it's, it all depends on whether you'd rather do one big shift and get back to first position like I do, or do a whole bunch of little shifts. Um, it's just up to personal preference which fingering you use. Uh, so that was my visual representation of G major. I'll also be making a harmonic minor and melodic minor and I'll make playlists for you to click once those are out and if you like this video do what every other youtuber asks you to do and hit that subscribe button so that way you'll be notified when more uh, scale videos comes out. I've also been teaching through Violin Tutor Pro for the past several months and I'll have information all about that in the description so you can join our little online community.